new, 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 new. Okay, new products this week. First up, uh, just a little bit of a reminder, we are open, we are shipping smart, we are shipping safe. We do appreciate your orders. It keeps us going. Thank you so much for the last few months of orders. We are shipping instantly, so have at it. Yes. First up. Lots of new products. Okay, we got some exciting fab products uh, today to, in fact, okay, this one is kind of cool. This is a breakout for the MPM 3610, and this is a buck converter. Uh, we actually saw this part first on the Arduino Nano, and we were like, what is this chip? And it's actually an all-in-one buck converter. And here's the cool thing. It can take up to 21 volts, which is unusual. Usually, um, like these low-cost uh, three-volt buck converters max out at like six volts. But this one can provide 1.2 amps uh, from up to like 20 some volts, which is great for if you have like a big battery pack, maybe a, a bunch of lithium ions or lead acid batteries. Uh, and we just put on a breakout and the inductor is inside the chip. So um, it's very integrated, it's very efficient, and it's very small and thin. All right, next up. Next up, we have a breakout for the micro SD, uh, as, uh, SPI or SDIO usage. Um, and we already have a breakout for SD cards, and you might be wondering, like, why do you have a second one? Well, the original breakout that we made was 5 volt safe and SPI only. And what we've been doing in CircuitPython is adding more SDIO support. Now, SDIO is a high speed SD card interface, so you can get like many more times uh, data transfer speed. You can read a lot faster. And uh, you can also sometimes do data logging a lot faster if the chip has uh, faster SDIO support. So um, this chip is three volts, sorry, this breakout is three volts only. But uh, if you have a board that has SDIO support, like the STM32F4 series or the SAMD51, uh, the Grand Central has pins available for SDIO, then this can give you much faster SD card reading. Okay, next up. Next up, we've got this little adapter. This adapter takes a standard 2.1 millimeter uh, inner diameter, 5.5 millimeter outer diameter DC jack and gives you USB-C. It's a little bit weird, right? Because you're not really supposed to do this, but there are some situations where an engineer is like, look, I know that I'm gonna have a solid five volt output from the DC jack. I wanna plug it into something like a Raspberry Pi. Um, and uh, you know, I wanna use a DC adapter. This will do the job. I will say there's no protection circuitry. There's no more over voltage circuitry. Uh, this could be a really great way to damage electronics if you plugged in a 12 volt um, battery pack or power supply and then jam this into something that was not expecting that much voltage because there's no uh, power negotiation circuitry inside of it. It's, very, it's just voltage in, voltage out. That said, there are probably some situations where this could come in handy. Okay, uh, next up, the start of the show besides our community, all of our customers, and you Lady Ada is? Um, this kind of cool plastic. So um, we actually, I think Phil B showed this to me. He said, have you seen this LED plastic? And I was like, no, what is it? And he's like, well, it's this, you know, dark diffused material um, that when you put it over LED matrices, it really sharpens the display. So hold on, let me see, I've got a demo, which I'll show you also, have a, of course, a great video. So, um, second so here we've got a 32 by 32 LED matrix running a circuit Python demo and as you can see the LEDs are very bright but they're also a little bit harsh like it's actually hard to see what's going on because the brightness is so high um, and this is the plastic so you can see it you know it, it's a diffusing plastic but when you put it right up against the LEDs, it doesn't change the colors. It just like sharpens the LEDs and makes them more visible. Um, people who've used this have said it totally changes the look of their LED matrix projects and makes them much more visible. Looks great outside, also protects the matrix because those LEDs are a little delicate. Um, and we have this in a 12 by 12 inch sheet. It's about uh, one tenth of an inch thick. Um, so you can laser cut it very easily. It's just like normal acrylic, but it does look and act different than smoke acrylic. It's not the same thing. We've tried smoke acrylic and it doesn't have that sharpening effect that makes the LEDs uh, look good and pop out. So we think this is a pretty cool material and if you like NeoPixels, it works great with those. LED matrices, it's perfect for those as well. 
also looks like you can back it up a, a few millimeters and it diffuses it even more and you might be able to do some types of effects with that yeah i mean yeah. It, it's cool it's definitely not like normal acrylic that's just darker there's yeah. there's something about how it's made um that increases the contrast really well yeah that's cool yeah i like this demo because you can see it like it makes the leds it kind of it, it makes them pop a little bit but also smooths them out it's yeah. a very nice effect it's like a uh, physical photoshop filter yeah Okay, yeah. All right, and uh, with that, thank you, everyone. This is some pre-COVID photos. When you place an order, these are all the folks that you help and support. We appreciate it. Again, pre-COVID photos. We don't stand this close and without masks. That's right. Now. And that's new products. All right. New, 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 new.